watching live. This also is one of the outfits uh, that the sister in charge of Sister Emma Gibbs has got. She has this outfit as well. And I bought it. Now, I, I bought it. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it's right. This is the short part. I bought it not knowing that it was right. So I don't have a phone. My stomach's going to be right. I'm not going to wait until a basketball child is going to tell This will be perfect. It's going to be cool. Three. Small, medium, 
it definitely be a bat. And you show your back, very classy, sexy, and still you will be a carriage model. So that is a dress. If you want some we talked about so if you want something, the, the jumpsuit are I have one other, maybe more, skirt with skirt stuff. Not that same colors, but the same style. And then this one is as you said it's a small model. And then we have this one. And this one is this one dog. This is a nice one. This is one that you can have a lot of This is one you probably have not seen. But I do want to show you how you can see it too. Yeah, what is that? Okay. And I do have it back. Hey, hey, hey. Give me an only back. Yeah, give me a minute. Give me a penny. Give me a minute. All right. So let me tell you how you have seen this. You've seen it because this is that same silhouette, that emphasis of uh, elastic that's around the waist. Such a great look. Same with beautiful, but let me just say, I love the cheek shirt effect. I love that it covers. I love this. Like, I don't have one like this. Don't believe that you think I would not know which one I have. They look like they don't. Like, I don't have this style. And I think somebody else would love it. Love the sleeves. Love the t-shirt effect. Love, like, this one has pretty ample breasts. And I think it looks good. And I love it. I'm small and medium. And then here's the back. If you might interested in a particular one that I'm actually showing you, this one right here, that is just a matter. Beautiful dress. I don't have this style, but I'm going to give this, I'm going to let y'all have this, because I do have this style, so to say, but I have this particular. Okay. So, we have, 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 we we have, we have, this one was dress number one. Dress number one. I'm gonna put something on tonight. This is dress number one. And then this is dress number two. And then this is dress number two. Okay. So now we're gonna do dress number three. This and four. And these two are similar. I want to show you. I have more something like this, and she still has it. Mine was a halter top. I want to show you one without the halter top. If you like a halter top, then this is definitely. So this one, let me show you. I had my eye. It was my, my eye was all like injured. I went to the doctor. The doctor. The doctor. So I said, oh, you can put it on the floor. And I remember, let me show you the difference. And I like this. Besides the fact that the color is just amazing. But y'all, it does this thing. And this one's funny, it's not inside of it. It's, it has a long, a long piece here and a shorter piece. So again, this is beautiful. Not only this, the long piece here and the shorter on this side. And that's the other thing. Look at that orange. And it's the way it's centered. That's chilly. Like, you know what? I think my sister, she likes that kind of style. This one is beautiful. You are interested. Dress number three. Dress number three. I'm gonna show you one. I'm gonna show you one that's just like in style. Dress number three, but different in colors. That's the only difference. And that one's not halter. And the one that one has the, the t-shirt top. And this one is the same, the same t-shirt top. It's just the same side, the side to side. Asymmetrical. This is dress number four. This 
the A, I will call it the asymmetrical form. So now I'm going to move. I have the first asymmetrical is the second. So this one you really can see. It's short, it's short on this end, long on this end. And then the top sleeve. You see that? Yeah, I'm sleeping this one. It has the dope sleeves. And then gorgeous. I'm show you the back. Just a gorgeous dress. Alright, ladies. And then just trying to think about anything else. Uh no, that's it. So I'm going to take my comments, we'll chit chat for a minute. And I will quickly take that off. And then these two quick cool boom will just take the side for a second. Let's see if the name is the same if you can see. And then my two will just wrap them up and put them in a the bag. Thank you, Quake Cool. How did I smell exhaustion? I'm so sleepy. I'm sleepy today. I hung out pretty late last night and I didn't go to bed to bury. Like, I think, was it like two in the morning? I don't know how I keep doing this bitch here. Like, oh my God. But y'all, we had so much fun yesterday. Oh my God, I wanted to say, if you were not able to watch that video, if you were not able to watch that video from yesterday, from the, we were, when I was at the uh, uh, Manasi, Manasi's uh, parents' house with the, with the Airway Kente, y'all need to know. Like, that Kente is off the chain. And if you can go back and view it. If you see something that somebody else even bought but you want, you can get you some. Um, also, the dresses. The dresses are dope. So, y'all, y'all see my two pieces? I, don't, I never had the two pieces. So, I decided. I'm so glad I got it now. That's all I say. So, uh, we'll see how they look. I am, what is going on in my life? I need, I mean, cook food. I need so much cook food. I want to cook food tray. Um, um, but I've ordered my nice, healthy food from, uh, from the boy center. So I will be drinking or eating more healthily. Drink, having a lot more smoothies and getting all back to that life because it's better for me. Although I don't mind a little cook food now too, but I get, I, I'm so tired today, but we all are. It's the weather. We talk about how this is the perfect sleep weather. So it's all about this weather. I'm going to go, go sleep. I have too much work to do. So um, I don't know. I should do everybody else and just take a day nap. But I forgot I could take a nap in there. I never do. So yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to do my water because sometimes you think you're tired and you just need some water. And just take that tip in mind. Um, what is going on in my life this weekend? I am, of course, I'm going to hang out. Uh, it's nothing special we're doing, just the normal let's hang out on the weekend weekend. Uh, I'm going to mail out, oh, I'm going to mail out the airway cloth. I'm not going to mail out till Monday for everybody that ordered. And... I got some other stuff to mail out, like little things. I got Kenya, your order's almost complete. Bianca, your order's almost complete. And Nakia, your order is complete. It'll be complete tomorrow. It's almost complete as well. So I'll be doing some stuff tomorrow. Uh, let me see what you said. So first of all, Ale Elena. I see you. I don't see you. I see you. Kennedy, beautiful. Aren't they cute? Miss Williams. I Miss Williams, I was thinking about you so hard today. We're doing our next, this 21 day. I've been thinking about you. For, and it's 21 day and Tessa. Oh my, we're going to have to pay her black. Yeah, that, that one right there. I know. Hey, Miss Williams, keep up. Blessings over to you too. Uh, Tumari says, are you attending the, the, the Homo Woe Festival? I don't know what that is. I'm not, tell me, who, what people, who, who's the one doing that? I don't know, I don't know what that is. But I will be at the Chale Wote. Now that one, I'm, I'm looking forward to. I'll be at the Chale Wote. Me and my man, we gonna wear, I don't know, we was trying to wear matching outfits, or at least, you know, head wraps or something, or shoes. Uh, that's the big, that's the thing here, you got to wear your match and what, not what. God, oh, the guy, I got to. No, I, I mean, yes, now, uh, if I didn't miss it or if it's still coming, I will definitely be attending because I love the God people as well. Y'all, uh, it's so much. That, the effort thing here, it's kind of cool because, you know, you get to experience all these different ethnic groups and their ways of doing things, and it's nice, it's nice. I say have 
something for you to give to me. Can you go get him? Okay, thank you. So yeah, quite who's the best assistant I have ever had. My assistant that I have now. When is Charlie World's Best Food? It's, I think it's, I thought it was this weekend, but I, I don't think, I think they said it's next weekend. Charlie World's is next weekend, so I hope that that's right, that it's next weekend. So I'm excited. First festival in Ghana, because in 2020, everything was locked down and closed, so all festivals. It's apparently a lot of festivals here. I mean, you can go all to all of the regions. Waho to San. Oh, yeah. Ah, mi I I know, too long. I know, I'm still here, just getting out of it. Yeah. All right, take care. So yeah, I know. People just don't see me a lot anymore. I know, because you know why? I got a life. I got like a whole life. Like it's a it's an event every day. Like every and I'm living my fullest life, and I'm so I'm thankful for it. You know, I'm so thankful for it, and I'm living my natural life, y'all. So challenge, you know, we grow in the lock, so that's why we wear the head wrap. And we're growing them natty dress, so we're not doing no, you know, so people like to say free form. Yes, it is free form, but my last ones are free form too. Hey, Kojo, you've been gone. Coco BT? Yeah, I went to Coco BT. Yeah, So um, that's my challenge. And I got another challenge. I'm going to try to go bare lip. Yeah, I'm going to go bare lip for a while. And, you know, I'm just. I'm going to be I'm gonna do the total natural girl. As a matter of fact, so look, look at my nails, right? They not they not looking great. They they break in a bit, but they're not too bad. But you know they had that dip on and that dip ruined stuff. So, but they're growing out. I will really have to get them done. That girl trying to keep up. What I think is I'm gonna have them. Yes, I know it sounds crazy. And they're short now too. I'm gonna have them take off the polish and I'm only gonna put clear. <laughs> Yo, what is going on? I'm only gonna put clear. Tell me y'all have told me that the gel, the gel messes your nails up too. The gel nail polish, that's what y'all told me, and I believe it. And that's what I have on now. So I'm going gel, I'm going nothing. I'm going just clear nail polish. That's it. And then after a while, I'm I, in that case. I don't even have to pay all that money to go to that place because I got to save my money. I got a lot of things I really want to do. I, all I have to do is be right here. If I stay right here, there's some girl that will come around or they'll call a girl to come around and she'll just give me a basic manicure and she'll charge like six to ten CDs as opposed to like, oh, when I was doing all of my nails, I was paying close to almost 200 CDs. That's a lot of money saved. And I'm saving a lot on my hair because, you know, it's true. Like, I mean, it's interesting. Like, this whole idea of being a natural woman and then the contradictions of that, especially the contradictions with me on that. It's like, I eat so well. People do that tell me, like, I, mean, I eat well. Especially for out here, it's kind of strict even. I, want, I don't deal with the regular doctor medicine. I only do local medicine. And you know, oh, y'all, I will fight that doctor the medicine you know all these different things but yet you know i had china on my head so i mean i'm not saying nothing wrong with you i'm not saying nothing wrong with me i'm just saying like i just feel like i want to i want to i want to be coherent you know the quantum field according to dr joe Dispenza, talks about the idea of the coherence between the mind and the heart that what you're feeling, you're thinking, what you're thinking, you're feeling. And then once those two are in alignment, then you actually reach in the sense of the quantum field where all is possible. You can't be saying one thing and feeling another. You can't be saying affirmations but feel horrible while you're saying it. Or say affirmations about wealth and money but keep talking about how broke you are. There's no coherence. That's why. So there's nothing lined up. But when you, you it's, but I feel like it's the same thing, which I do. I'm only going to wear, um, I'm only going to now, I'm wearing my hair totally natural. Okay. I'm just going to be natural because I don't want to deal with chemicals. You know, oh, I love the lip bar, but I mean, just sometimes like vegans, like we don't want to see it. Like I didn't want to.
I'm really looking into, but you know, somebody wants to tell me, I think Oreos are vegan, so vegan doesn't necessarily mean healthy. So even the lip bar, it is vegan, and I think they stress vegan more to say that they're not tested on animals. And I'm sure that they're, and they're using the animal byproducts, and I, I'm happy for that. And I was like, hip hip hooray, like, oh my God, I, I, I'm loving the lip bar, so I'm not putting it down. But if you read the ingredients, it's like FDA, C, Blue Lake, like it has all. So, do I want to put the chemicals? Like, I, I was looking on YouTube how to make my own, but then I was thinking, you know, my lips, they're nice lips. Like, maybe they want to be seen. Like, I'm going to give them a chance. You know, I thought about the china on my head. Somebody once said, you know, I don't know if I could rationalize. Not just that it's, I mean, it's chemically down. And I told you the cheaper one, I got that green one, the power one, and that blonde, they were known to have more chemicals in it. It was like a plastic, they said it was made from plastic. So, ooh. And then even all the rest of the dye, you know it's the worst dye ever. The hair is from China. Like, I had to, like, go deep on that and really just say, what's up? Like, what's up with that? Like, I, I mean, I'm just, hey, you know what, y'all have to, ask the deeper questions. I'm just in the mood to ask deeper questions. So I had to really like think about that. So I saw I was blocking my hair and of course I'm bracing the gray and all that. And I wanted matchy dreads more than before. I'm not gonna do the lipstick because what does, and I'm not gonna do the nail polish. I don't know when the last time I experienced a total natural feeling, like the last time. And it was probably when I didn't have that much money. When I was raising my daughter, I never got my nails done. When I was raising my daughter, I didn't even think about my lipstick. I didn't really even know, plus I know I wouldn't have wanted some unnatural lipsticks. I used to every once in a while go to Whole Foods when I had money, but they were so expensive, that natural lipstick. So we got, so I, I just, I'm trying to feel, I'm trying to feel something else. I'm trying to feel myself. You know, in our womb, we are doing our womb intensive, our womb meditation, 21 days. And we all, we keep asking the same question every day. You know, what do you want from a, from your womb, from that womb perspective? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? And every day I go, I want to know who I am. I want to know who I truly am. And I feel like taking off the lipstick, you know, taking off the, uh, the, 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 the wig or the weave, the wig, the extensions. I mean, that's what the extensions, but same stuff. Out of my hair, taking off the nail polish, when I do take it off, I, I feel like I'm stripping down to something. Okay, naturally. So, uh, naturally, the answer is yes to whatever you ask me. The answer is yes. I see they messing with you. So I just, I'm just so I'm 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 on like I'm I'm experimenting. I'm I'm observing. I'm exploring me, and I'm stripping myself down to me. And I'm, I'm loving that because it's enough. It's enough. Like you're enough the way you are right now. You can do. You can embellish you, but can you ever not put anything on your face or on your heel? Like that was difficult for me. And now it's not as difficult. I mean, it's still one day at a time. But so I'm just exploring, y'all. So then I'll go back to eating more raw too as well, because right now I ate some food and it was vegan of course, but I feel very sleepy, so. Anyway, just wanted to chit chat for a second. Thank you, ladies. Uh, hey, Kiba, blessings to you. Okay, so now I know the God Festival, thank you. Hey, Emma, Kalea, hey Lisa, I used to do just clear on the nails all the time. Now just buffering the nails after Manny and Patty. That sounds good to me, Kalea. I'm I'm with that. Hey, Nicole, darling. That, that, it's just a moment. And you know what? I want to invite every woman to have that moment. You don't have to live there. You don't have to stay there. I know, but I would never dictate a woman's beauty. And I would never tell a woman, like, what she should or should be having on her face. Or, man, I, I'm not telling you that. I mean, I just want y'all to know I'm not coming for you. I ain't no higher than mighty. I'm not. This is so for me. I want. I mean, there was a time, like, I know I could not have never worn my lipstick. And it was a time, well, the nail polish is coming off. Like, I'm done. Like, it's nice, red, gold, green, but I still feel that the gel, let me see what my nails could do without it. Let me just see. And I love the clearance. So I'm going to do it and get it. But, yeah, I'm going to do all of that. Um, but I'm just, I'm, I'm wanting 
and I'm needing, and my room is asking me to come to a place. Okay, thank you, Nicole. 21 day housekeeping starts this weekend. So, so naturally, we got to see why you're not. Okay, that's cool. Well, I'll figure it out. Thank you, Nicole. And I'm just sharing it with y'all. Say that for sure, because that's a hard one for me. Oh, when you get your locks, girl, like, y'all been supporting me for the long because a lot of y'all will say, you look, I like you better without the lipstick. I like you more natural, you know. Some of y'all be like, oh, you don't need the nails. Nice to be like, ah, whatever. But now I like kind of listening. So, but you know, having a man who loves you just the way you are is kind of inspiring as well. And it makes you start asking yourself, nope, nobody should love you more than you do. Nobody should accept you the way you are, but you don't even accept yourself. Like as flattering as that is, that's, that's, you don't want somebody else to have to carry your esteem. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, I, I don't, I'm inspired. I'm so glad he's, he's, you know, loves it. But at the same time, I say, yes. It's like, it made me think, like, this man is loving me on me for exactly the way I really am. That's, that's what he likes the best. How do I love who I really am? And I feel like a lot of us, we won't even really see our beauty because we don't allow the first time we don't have the weave. I mean, I'm talking about girls that wear weaves. Or for me, the extensions. The first time we just be like talking bad about ourselves. Be like, oh my God, I can't look at myself. I need to get some weave here, there. You know, like I feel like, like I'm, I'm here there. But once you start doing it, you really start realizing how beautiful you naturally are and that you just used to seeing a certain look and when you don't have it, you don't think it's still beautiful. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, wearing my head wrap in Ghana every day, I get much, much attention, much love and respect. Don't get me wrong, I say it is, okay, you wanna talk about 100% of the female population and I'm gonna say males too, but I'm gonna say in Ghana, 80, 80 where they hear the girls that, that sell, it don't, it don't even matter. I'm gonna say 90. That's this. This is the easiest place in the world to wear hair wrap. Every everybody covers their hair because of the dust, That's the dirt. Some of them are out in the streets all day long. Some it's like I'm sure they want to do their hair. Every hat kind of things that little turbans. Everybody. Like I probably if I turn this around, you will see. Now, a lot of the young girls, I'm going to say teens or 20s, they might wrap their hair too if they work in, but they wear, those, wear extensions. So I'm saying all that to say, but it's the way that I wear my hair. Like this woman called, this is a young girl that she, you know, she, she begs for money every day. And she said to me, she calls me Mommy Rasta. Mommy Rasta, Mama Rasta. Like here, if you look like, if you're wearing your hair high, like it's a way you wear it, like this, or you're wearing a dress with it, or a skirt, or something that, or African, then they call you Rastafari. They love the Rasta, they, they love the men, like the respect and the love, and they even are very attracted, I mean sensually attracted, like sexually attracted, it turn, do something to them. So it's so interesting that finding yourself is what, is what you're supposed to do, it's like, it's who you're supposed to be. You really are your most beautiful. So I'm just going to talk to my girls that are, we got our beauty crutches, our lipstick, our eyeliner, our, our extensions, whatever that looks like for you. And then you go natural as well. But here's on some other level. They call, they call you mom Africa too, like all the time when you look African. And you, I know it seems like, why is it, don't they see it every day? I'm gonna tell you something that they told me, and this is something Quaker cool told me about others, because people stop me all the time and be like, yo, the way you wear your outfits, yo, the way you wear your outfits, yo, the way you, let me tell you what he told me. He said, listen, he said, he said, I know we African and we wear African clothes. He said, but when y'all diasporans wear it, he said, you wear it better. And he told me that for smiles me. He said, because you're coordinated. Y'all know how to match things. They think, we, they think we are the queen and kings of matching. And I laugh because in the States, remember, did you used to get teased when you didn't match? Your clothes don't match. That's black Americans, right? Ooh, we will tear you a new one when your clothes don't match. 
Girl, your clothes don't match. With your clothes not matching. With your Mitch mask. Oh, we had the mask. Come on, even the pimps was matching, y'all. The pimps is matching. Everybody. Black Americans, you're right. We love it's got it's got to match. We go serious with that mask. Like it was a baby blue. We got to have the shoes be the baby blue. You got to have the fedora be the baby blue. Everything got to be baby. And so even when I came to, I remember Fred would tell me, that's my bag man, he would say, people would come to him and say like, yo, how she wearing African clothes, but it's how she matching, how she know how to match it. They think we coordinate, they call it coordinating. They think, I always think about the brother, I think he was a comedian, did he die? Witherspoon? I know I'm probably saying his name wrong. But what, then he used to, wasn't it one of the movies, I don't know if it was Friday or something, he was like, you got to coordinate. Yeah, we, we serious about our coordination. I know they say I got a bad connection and I'm sorry. So I say, thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Keeper, girl. I love being on natural. That's right, Kalea. So true. I've been wearing my natural fro for the past 18 months, and it is an, it is an adjustment, isn't it? I'm accustomed to seeing myself with long hair style in the more Euro. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, Nicole, you're breaking it down. That's what it is. That long, that was China, that's what I should call it. That long hair that I had, very Eurocentric style. I'm sorry, y'all. So you like so I'm on a journey of challenging all of that. But in that I wanted to just report back they fall out. They just be like, yo, yo, that I'm, I'm, you know, Rastafari right, either they'll be like queen or empress or it's some fascination and it's kind of cool. So it's like the thing you run away from, sometimes we need to run to. It is our true self. We are truly in alignment with who and what we are. You know, this is my belief. I don't I don't y'all cannot share it. Y'all can say my belief is that most, most black men, oh, y'all gonna fight me on this one because you're not gonna believe it. Most black men like natural women. They prefer their women to be natural. Listen, you don't have to debate me. I'm telling you that I don't care if they say it. They, they take us the way we are because most black women are not gonna not wear their hair. They not gonna have their fake hair. The ones that is into fake hair, you mean expenses is fake hair, let's face it. Or they're not gonna, so the man gotta take what they get. But if we all was really just ourselves, I mean, I see it here every day. Like now, I gotta tell you, ain't no bunch of women wearing no makeup. I ain't see it. Lipstick, you stand out. You stand out. They ain't wearing no makeup. They ain't wearing no lipstick. They ain't wearing no eyeliner. They not wearing none of that. Like you gonna stand out, okay? So when you live in a society, it's everything. It's like in America, we talk about, oh, they don't like dark skinned girls. They don't like dark skinned girls. Well, uh, everybody here married to a dark skinned woman. So you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta almost change your mindset. So you're not having that deal with that. Oh, well, they like these girls with all this makeup. Well, ain't nobody here wearing makeup, but everybody, the women are fine to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they don't, they want you to have weaves. Well, nobody here does. Nobody, they're not even used to that. Like, they might, I seen one or two, and it wasn't even that good. Like, I'm just saying, there was some bad ones in the stage, too. Don't get me wrong. So you start really thinking, like, are, what concept as black American women, whose concept of beauty are we going through, going by? Because clearly that's not here. I mean, clearly. Even the idea you would think that black American women butts must be the flattest booties in the damn world because of all the, I guess, BBLs and all the booty lifts that people are doing. And you come here, everybody got that butt naturally. They got it in space. They got the whole Coca-Cola bottle, hourglass, boom. So we naturally got beautiful shapes. We naturally, our men that would see us like this every day loves us like this. You know, the Eurocentric, it's Eurocentric mentality, it's destructive. And it's destructive to the core. It's got you hating yourself in one part of the world where the people in another part just don't. They just don't. If you, I always say, if you want to feel good about yourself as a black woman, come to Africa. Come to West Africa too, because you got to come to West Africa, I think, because you're going to get the black instead of black. So anything you can say about yourself, somebody look like a kid and they got a husband, they got beautiful kids, what? Anything you can say, you can't, because you're going to have to look around and look at your, see yourself and be like, well, the men are not hiding from the woman. The men are not saying she's ugly. The men are not. You dog, they dog too. It's a beauty. So if, you gonna, if I'm going to change and grow into my naturalness, then I pick the perfect place to do it. I pick the perfect place. So wearing my hair wrapped is not a problem for me anymore. And just really being myself. So I'm just sharing that with y'all. All right, ladies, if anybody wants anything you saw, you know how to do it. Get in touch with me, afrocentrichomedesign.com. 
other than that, I think I could go home. Because I think I can only, I've done only what I could do today. And tomorrow's another one. I love you with all of my heart. And I'll see y'all next time. Let me get the last five comments. Yes, Lisa, but it does not seem like it, it does, though, especially in California. I know. In the States, I know, right? I get it. Kalea says, pertain to what you said about men and natural. Yeah, I get it. Not, I know not in the States. And that's what I said, that reality. Now, I agree. I'm, I'm going to go back, though. I'm going to go back because I, I, I hear what you're saying. And Lena says, yes, they do love natural women. I know. I've, I've always accepted myself, and they accepted me. That's right, Elena. Hey, Snowy says, greetings. I'm late. No, you're right on time because I'm going to stay on for a little while. You know, it's interesting, the States, because like, you would think that I, I have way more men in the States would stop me and say, why, why are you wearing that lipstick or why are you wearing makeup or why are you wearing extensions? I mean, it's happening to me so much. And I noticed that when I took it out, like, they was, we was cool. They was hanging. Like, they really, really liked that. You know, for me to not having a father, that father that could just tell you, like, when you're young and, you know, you natural, of course, like, your father tell you how pretty you are, how pretty you are, pretty. I didn't have that. So I had to find that, that male, that male love or male guidance or male approval from the men out in the really in the streets or the men that, you know, was interested in me. And if I ever met a man, even when I had the lipstick, he would always be like, sister, you know, you don't need no makeup. Your skin is dark. And, you know, this from the time when I was young and the Muslims used to tell me that all of the time. And I was be like, whatever, you know, I didn't want to hear it. And, uh, you know, you're pretty. Like, you don't need to wear that. You don't need that. You don't need that. And I agree that, you know, I didn't. I didn't. And I'm going to go with another thing. All the men that I ever dated only dated women that was natural. I'm, I'm not, I was, I've never had one man that I dated that his time. So I think it's more. I think that the men that like natural women, it's more than even, it's definitely her hair to turn on all that, but men love women who love themselves. Men love women who love themselves. And, that, and then too, you, you're, you're, there, you're reminding them of really like their mother, like truly a mother and, and divine mother Africa. I, I still will hold, even in the States, I don't think that even, let me say this, I think black men in the States do like black natural women, but I think that we have gone so far off being natural that we're gonna have to tr get them back on loving us the way. They follow our lead. Like I said, most men before, I mean, remember when we first came out in the 80s, the 70s, the late 70s, the 80s, man, all the unbelievable, like it was a joke, like people used to laugh and men didn't like it. But women was like, yo, I'm gonna wear this, I'm gonna smile here, I bought it, so now men had to with it. I see it here. The women are the rulers. Like the women are the determiners of, of what you gonna like. Where most people are natural anyway. So you don't. You're gonna feel better about going all the way natural. It's better for your health. I know you're gonna live longer. And then most of us are beautiful. Like I'm saying, all of us are. So, but that's it. We got men now that I hear both sides. Like, I think the plastic surgery now has gone so far. If you have it, that's fine. It's going so far. I hear men going, can we get a woman with, like, just a natural woman? So now a natural woman means, like, a natural body. Or even a natural woman could be a, a woman born a woman. I mean, it, it seems like the natural woman, and we women did it, too. Like, we got to take some responsibility. We can't blame these men. They didn't go tell us to get these jobs. We started it, and now some are requesting it. We have to stand, I'm saying we're leading, we have to stand in our true power. I think that once we say we're not doing the butt lifts anymore, we're not doing the breast implants, we're not doing all of that. We are coming, I, I think that there's gonna be men, the women that's not doing it, they're gonna be like the sexy ones. I think there's gonna be men that, there are men saying, can we have our regular women back? Like, can we see our regular ass? You know what I'm saying, excuse me, but can we see? And I can tell you that as an older woman who you would really, Really think like, oh my God, my, you know, you know, do my, do my butt hang low? Does it jingle while I walk? Yeah, my butt hang low. Yeah, my breasts hang low. You know, you would really you know, start questioning, oh, but all men like women with perky breasts or, you know, with the booty. 
the fact is, I can tell you that some men see the natural process of aging as beautiful and sexy as well. As beautiful and sexy. It, this, it, more like somebody said, these women are beautiful at every age. So you don't even have to compare yourself to ATO. You have a 50 something year old beauty. And the ATOs have an 18 something year beauty, but the beauty is there. We women got to believe in that again. We have to believe, no matter if nobody else does it, we have to realize that we're still beautiful and we look like this is beautiful too. And it's just, it's freeing, I'll tell you that. It's way freeing. And I'm not saying change over now. I just say I want to see the time when women move us back to being ourselves. You know, the natural woman that does nothing, that's going to be hard to find soon. And I think a lot of the women that have done a lot of stuff, I think they're going to realize, or it's false of self-esteem. It's only it's based on if somebody tells me every day, oh, I like your booty because, you know, you got a big butt now that wasn't there before, right? That's not real. That's not real. So sisters, challenge yourself to be more natural and see if you will attract men who like natural women. I hope, I mean, even when I like last left North Carolina, I mean, men was always commenting on my style, my naturalness, my natural beauty. So I'm, I'm hoping that we just didn't lose all of that. I can't believe that men are not liking natural women, but I can with the fact that they can't find nothing now nah, they can't i'm just playing i'm just playing thank you yes so 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 clay i understand yes they do yes thank you green and this about something yourself elena where do you live she li she lives in cali too that's why i live in berkeley california born and raised california girl that's right and i'm 57 go ahead elena same cali girl near studio city i am 53 and you know what i wonder too the dynamics of Northern California and Southern California. I could imagine on the, I'm just gonna say unnatural, unnatural way of beautifying yourself. Like it must be, but I hear Atlanta's off the hook now too. Like I heard Atlanta's very, uh, you know, in a sense, you know, dealing the plastics. I'm just gonna say that. I'm not putting no women down, I'm really not. I'm, I don't think uh, it's important. I don't think, I think that that love really has to be inside. And I think that, I mean, so you get a bigger butt, and so you're attracting all these men that's commenting on your butt. I mean, it's kind of frivolous and stupid. And he t he letting you know right away what he think what he would like to do with you. You know, it's so interesting here. I always say it. So you know, you would think that every man here likes a very thick woman. They say fat woman. You would think that on the outside. Oh, you hear songs about the fat woman. No, no, no. By the way, fat here is a compliment. So do not even take it the wrong way because it's not. But you see so many with slim girls, and you be thinking, you can't, don't try to think for no man. That what attracts him is so deeper than even sometimes the physical. You know, that's what I'm learning. What it really attracts them is they don't want no headache, no stress. It's more of a woman's way, especially in Africa. How well she's treating you, what future it could build together, how much she loves and respects you, and vice versa. Yo, those are still the qualities that really matter. And I will say this, you know, looks definitely fade. Body sags, things change. You do a lot of exercise, but you're going to be exercising real hard to keep it all up. It's got to be deeper. It's got to be more. I just had a birthday, so it's got to be more. Don't even get that caught up in it. And when you have that beauty within, and you have a lot of energy, and you have that young spirit, everybody going to want to hang out with you. I know it's here too because I hang out with a lot of men now. Like, and I love it. And uh, people are fascinated with my conversation or my spirituality or my words of wisdom. That is sexy to a man that don't have a lot of that, you know? I'm just trying to let you know the truth. Like, don't, and cut off the media that tells you men want a woman like this. The men want a woman like It's not true. I mean, I feel like I really can speak about that now. It's not true. It's not true. It's, and it is inner beauty. I mean, it's not to say that a person that's inner beautiful is out of ugly. No, we're not saying that. We're saying some men, some men want more depth. That we got to stop giving our black men such a raw deal that they're all superficial, that they all just want one thing. That they, That's not true. Not all. 
We got to know that, that some of them are very smart. Some of them are more in life. Some of them have been around the block a few times, so they realize all that glitters ain't gold. And that now. I just, I don't. You know, you are so perfect just the way you are. And so, no lipstick. I'm going to go to the dentist, though. I'm going to go to an orthodontist because I am thinking I'm going to get this Invisalign. But let me see how. I'm scared of even braces and stuff because I think about all that metal in the mouth. I don't know. Is that good for you? Okay, anyway. That's another story. You're going to go through the process with me. But we are going to get the teeth a little hooked up a bit just because I'm 54 and... It's my gift to myself. Okay. All right, queens. I love you with all my heart. I'm getting off. I'm about to go to sleep. Oh, Kalei, you're 53. Go ahead, 50 plus club. Uh, yes, Nicole says, I agree that we need to deprogram our men and young girls. That's right. I just try to be an example wherever I am. Yes, Nicole, that's all we could do. I am with a Ghanaian man with no regrets. That's right, Sonovia. Yes, I know. Me too. Uh, Kalea says, it might just be me, but it seems like it's like some of the men here in California, that's what they're all about is the physical, and they don't even allow themselves to get to know what they're And you know what? And you know what, Kalea? And let them. You know why? Because they're getting played. These, these, ugh. I'm older now, so it's different looking at, like, the dynamics of dating. Like, when you just see some of these girls, these, these young ladies, they, they, these brothers can't play them. They playing you. My mother always told me women are way smarter than men when we talk about gaming. Ain't nobody game better than a woman. You think you smart. We know everything you're doing. You don't know nothing we're doing. So I'm feeling like, you know, um, they going you want to go for all that. I mean, that don't usually end very well. Um, I think that the men are caught up. If you're going to show them that the fake booty every day, because they can go on Instagram now. They can go everywhere. They don't even have to see it in, in person. It could be, you know, in, on the Internet. There are those men. Now, don't get me wrong. And I think California probably has a lot. I would, I would not disagree with that either. That is caught up, immature. And I'm talking about the grown ones. I'm talking about the grown ones. I'm talking about the grown men that are immature. And they are chasing little young ladies or a big butt. I mean, like, you don't even want him. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody, in this day, if you're not trying to partner up to do something great and amazing, what you need him for? Because sex, you don't even have to have a commitment for that. That's, we got to even start looking at relationships together I'm too differently. Like, I don't care what age you are. We got to teach our children. You partner with somebody so y'all can build and create and do something. It ain't he cute, I'm cute. What is that? What are we going to do with that? Have a cute baby that don't even know who you are, your mother, father. No. So we, I mean, the thoughts got to be different. And I feel like in Ghana, I feel like in general, the, the men here have to consider all of those things. Because it's more different. Like, well, what is this? Okay, what are we going to do together? What can we do? What is it? It's about a partnership. What about a family? You married a man, you married a woman, you married a family. It's a whole... We have to start thinking like Africans. And not like Europeans. This superficial... I mean, because it's real superficial. It's not even... Somebody went and bought it. Like, it's, it's, it's not... It's that important. But to some people it is. And that's okay. I'm not judging. Don't, those men, like, I, I know I say, oh, don't mind them. Like, don't even, that, that's good. Like, let them weed themselves out. Like, show them. Like, they need to expose themselves. Ain't nobody got time for that. But dude, how old are you? How old are you? Yo, I'm telling you. It's just like I said, being with a younger man, too. Like, I could tell you, I'm not saying age is just a number, because that's a very, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying it's not. It's not just a number, because there's no way that there's a certain age that you are that you can be messing with somebody older. No, there's just limits. But in that, for two consulting adults, you don't never know who gonna be the, the most mature. It ain't always the one with the highest number on their age. You don't, there's a lot of old men out here that don't wanna get old too. You know, that's another thing that we don't talk about in the black community. We talk about the aging, uh, the effects of aging psychologically on a woman, but we really talk about the psychological effects of aging on a man, because you're a black man. Because men think that their power is in what's between their legs a lot. You can talk about us, but they really. And a lot of men, I'm talking about very early, 30, in their 30s now, are having penal erectile dysfunction. So a lot of these boys can't even get it. I'm talking about boys. I'm talking about young men. You know, I'm not saying boy. I'm talking about boy to me is 25, okay? You're 25, you're supposed to be wall. You're supposed to be putting it down. 
We're not even talking about they aging. We're talking 40 year old that's literally aging. That his maybe his prostate is out of order. Maybe his thing don't come up anymore. Like men don't. That's a silent thing that men. So I think sometimes it's those men that be looking for these little girl because they probably think maybe she's gonna do something for him that you know somebody else can't. We just gotta take better care of ourselves and better care of our image. I think that the aging process is not accepted in the black community anyway at all, unless you're in Africa. And they and that, they and they go too far. At 35, they put you out the pasture. You ain't no good. Like I'm so I'm not gonna say you ain't no good, but you're good for other things. But you're definitely not desirable as much, you know, unless the person thinks differently. I know we have to define for ourselves what our, our worth is and what that, but I think all of that. Some people are deeper. Some people want something more. Some people have been out in these streets and they see what it is. So love yourself. You're going to get older. Love that self too. And just do your best to give yourself one day to embrace your total natural beauty. No extensions, no wigs, no hair weaves, nothing. If you wear hair natural, great. If you want to cover it, then cover it. No makeup, no eyeliner, no lipstick, no, I don't know, so I can think of mascara, like, no foundation, no makeup, none of no makeup, no makeup, and nothing on your nails. Like, how naked would you feel? I ain't gonna say no earrings, because that's natural, we have to have our earrings. And I'm gonna tell you, drink lots of water so your skin will be vibrant and beautiful. You know, we do the meditation, and the meditation classes helps us to uplift our auras, to, to kind of like, uh, illuminate our, our our energy centers or chakras and thus our auras. When well, most times people meet you and they be like, oh, you're so beautiful. They're seeing something deeper. I know as a spiritual woman that that's what it is. They see that light and they see each other right. And the ones, and they just do, they just do. So keep your light shining bright. And uh, if you could move to a country <laughs> where you're a lot more appreciated, at least for your beauty, then you should. So, all right, queens, I'm really leaving now. Yeah, I hear you on that. That's true. Lisa Marie, does the clothes sets come in extra large? Yeah, that's the thing. Um, I, this is the hardest part, and it's not your fault, it's not you, it's nobody, it's this place here. You know, can we just get a size here? Like, can you, what size is this? So I asked them. Um, it could fit many people. No, 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 no. What size is this dress? So I'll be looking at the inside of the dress because I know the dresses they have and they tie dye the dresses. But once they tie dye, the size even comes off. So it's so hard. I gotta, I gotta eyeball the dresses to say this is a small, this is a medium, this is a large, this is extra large. So if you go in there and say extra large, nothing. Don't they don't know extra large. I mean, extra large U.S. might be a different than extra large here. And let me tell you why. Can I explain this? Why this is difficult? Because I thought about this. Okay. First of all, most of the women here are buying used clothes. And they just go, they see if it fits, and they put it on. Remember somebody was visiting, and she said she realized that to a lot of Ghanaians, wearing a shoe that's too big or too small, it doesn't matter. You, we Americans, like, we're going to try to shoe. We're not going to walk out if it don't fit. But they, if it fit good enough and it's good for what they need it for, they buy it. So you got to have this, this whole thing is so different. They're more trying on another thing, or if they make an African clothes, they're getting it tailored. So they don't still even know, they know their size. As long as they tailor know her, their size, that's what they go by. So the idea of that leisure of knowing your size, is, that's kind of like a leisure. That's kind of like a luxury. So everything is I want. Everything is it will fit. And a lot of times, because the women, like I said, the women are so curvy here that they the dresses they would normally wear, they, they do believe that tie dye could fit it tie dang anybody. Me and Oprah. Like, I'm just saying, the same dress. You know what I'm saying? Like, aha, that, you know, but hey, Miss Seely did it. Miss Seely did it with them pants. So, I, you know, it could happen. But they serious about that. Oh, many people could, many people, right? I could wear this and you could wear this. Like, I'm just trying to figure it out. But one time I did see a sister, she said that I could wear that same dress she had on. Now, I couldn't see how that could be possible, you know? So I, I need to first, I need to find a sister here that's in the, on the extra large and then put the dress on her. That's what I'm gonna do. I, and I'm gonna do it on camera so you can see a, a sister that's a little more healthier. And let's, let's test these people and they see if they write that are extra large 
and a small can wear the same dress. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm just dumb. So I'm sorry. That's probably the most difficult. But the, the, the sister that I work with, I'm going to be working with, and I still work with, um, at the Du Bois Center, and she all, her sizes are in everything. Even this. Like, let's say you want to buy a Batsakari here. Mm -mm. They just pull out a thousand and put it up to you. Or they tell you to put it over your clothes. This should fit. And you better put it on because they're going to say everything should fit. So I don't know. Like, that is just the hardest, the hardest thing. So I'll look, though, and I'll, I'll find a model that I think is extra large. So, yeah, we'll work it out. Yes, yeah, time for another sacred central. Do you know what? It's funny. Dora, Dora, Dora. I love you so much. I appreciate it. I understand. Yes, Keeper. Yeah, I know. we're going to work it out, girl. I'm going to help. I'm going to help them. I'm going to help them. You know, Dora is so funny you just said that because in my meditation class today, I told them, I said, ladies, you know, the first what the I was meditation 21 days was focused on the heart. This one is focused on the womb. Do you know, Dora, what I told them? They can tell you. I said, so y'all, I already know what the next one is focused on. It is focused on beauty. So, and I meant that, beauty and sensuality, sexuality, and adornment, beauty, the natural, yes. So sis, the next 21 day meditation daily is that, is that. Cause I keep feeling it too. Cause I'm, I'm on this being myself, you know what I'm saying? And I, I wanted to tell y'all like, I'm enjoying it. And it wasn't like I thought it would be. Actually, like I was saying, it's more in alignment. People look at me as an African woman because I wear, you know, African African clothes every day. And it's a disconnect to see the china on my head, but I'm African, you know what I'm saying? And I think when you bring it all together, it's something about it. Another thing here, sometimes when we as Black Americans say, kind of like being African, we imply that there's some consciousness and love for our Black self. Here, they're already African, they're born that way. It's a nationality, right? They are born on the continent, so they're African. When people look at you and say you're African woman, and you look at all these Africans go, well, they're African too. What they're kind of saying is that you're really embracing the African, like who and what you are, your clothes, your custom, like the herbal medicines that I don't do, the natural foods. And sometimes Africans, sometimes, maybe want to embrace more of a European culture. So. Because that's here too now, don't get me wrong. So I just something to think about. Just something to think about that. Why not? Test it out, y'all. Let's do it together. So that'll be next one. Uh, okay, Queens. I'm going to go because I know Kwaku is like chilling now. So that's good. Kwaku is the best. I'm so blessed that okay, Kwaku is my assistant. All right, y'all. Check out yesterday's video. We got the Airway Fabric. You see something you like, let me know. Uh... Manasseh made his debut, like seriously, like he actually talked, so, um, you know, you can see what he got to say about the LA people, and uh, we good, we good, we good. I love you ladies. I Thank you for chit-chatting me, thank you for spending this hour with me. I'm so pulled, I'm going home. I'm, I need to be home, and I'm gonna try on these outfits, so we are gonna have a wind down Thursday when I get home. I'm gonna try on those two pants sets, or two sets. Skirt, and I'm, I'm gonna have a little wine, and we're gonna talk about dating younger. All right, it's gonna be fun. I'll see y'all the next one. Peace and love.